How do you feel overall about the way your stance, your, your position right now? I mean, today I think it was a very big game. Uh, you know, we win, and now we got to win two out of I mean, one out of two. So uh, we got to go back Dallas, uh, play the same way. Uh, we know our fans going to be amazing at home. Uh, so we just got to win one more. Uh, nothing. We didn't do nothing yet. Last night, Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks handed the Clippers their largest loss in franchise postseason history 123 to 93 was the final score 30 point loss and the dallas mavericks absolutely dominated them on their home floor now in this video we're going to break down a bunch of film including this play so right away we see some high pick and roll between daniel gafford and luka Doncic. now what i want to show you guys here is the two guys in the corner you've got Derek jones and you got pj washington now you're going to get high pick and roll they're going to you know hedge over the screen with Zubach and boom what we see right away is some rotation off the weak side James Harden who is supposed to be covering Derek uh, Jones here right the high flyer and Derek Jones so boom he's gonna drive into lane draw in James Harden and now you're gonna get a slot cut here from or actually maybe not even a slot cut just a corner cut uh, by Derek Jones Jr. basically what that means is a perfectly timed cut to the basket when your ball handler drives into the lane draws the weak side offender and then boom you get a wide open bat or wide open lane to the basket beautifully timed and here we go Luca just throws it up there knowing Derek Jones the high flyer is there and is able to come down with it throw it down get it to go this offense is so tough to guard because they are so spread out right nobody's in the paint they have two guys sitting in the corner you got Kyrie in the corner as well and then you get the high pick and roll which causes so much openness over the middle of the floor which you know forces James Harden or Paul George to rotate in obviously they're going to pick James to rotate in because Derek Jones not the you know not the better shooter of him in PJ Washington but it still allows Derek Jones to get a wide open dunk what a read what a play hey in this video we're going to break down all the film you need to know about this last game and why, I don't know how, the NBA overlooked the Dallas Mavericks. And here we go again. I mean, there are times in games where you get the same formation, the same uh, set offensively here for the Dallas Mavericks, but it's still just so hard to guard. On this play specifically, you get one-on-one -on -one Luka versus PG-13, right? Derek Lively going to come set that screen, right? So obviously, with that being said, we're on the same set earlier, Kyrie in the corner, Maxi Kleber in the corner, and then you got Derek Jones over here, right? So boom, high pick and roll, get off the screen, draw the defender in here in Zubac. He's got to make a decision, do I go over, cover Luka, or do I drop back and make sure I cover the lob, right? So boom, Luka reads it, understands Zubac is now pedging over to me. Now we're going to get weak side rotation by James Harden and Terrence Mann as well. Now in this case, it looks like he should or could kick it over to Maxi Kleba for an open three. He had a great night. Or even Derek Jones Jr. is wide open at a three-point line as well. But Lucas says, listen, you are bringing these two defenders from the weak side in Terrence Mann and James Harden. But quite frankly, they're not big enough to contest my man Derek Lively. Let me just throw it up anyway. And Derek Lively is able to catch, throw it down, get it to go. Someone comment down below. How do you guard this set from the Dallas Mavericks? How? Now, one of the biggest reasons I think the NBA actually overlooked the Dallas Mavericks was they didn't notice their defense was stepping up and playing like one of the best in the NBA. And once the Dallas Mavericks flipped that switch, it was over, right? On this play specifically, we get a James Harden step back, signature three, Derrick Jones athletic free, gets up there, blocks the shot, right? Gets the offense into a fast break. Now Derrick Jones on the other end is able to throw down a dunk, get it to go, and that it doesn't end there, right? On this next offensive possession, uh, we get the Clippers going to bring it up here, 23-23 tie game, and again, the defense changes everything for this Dallas Mavericks team. Um, you know, James Harden throws up a little floater, back rim, no good, good defensive rebound, and again, the fast breaks change everything. You already see Derrick Jones Jr. trying to break out over to Luka, Luka. Now with a fast break opportunity, two on two. Luke brings it up here. Defense tries to prioritize Luka here with Paul George. And Luka is going to get right by him. Draw some body contact. A little fadeaway floater. Gets it to go. I mean, the defense has been so good for Dallas. And that is the biggest reason they've been so overlooked. Is because nobody thought their defense was going to play this good. And now that they are, not only do they have one of the best offenses, one of the most unguardable offenses in basketball but their defense is now playing top five basketball i mean this is going to be 
uh, one of the toughest teams to stop in the NBA if they continue to play this type of ball. Now guys, real quick, before we jump into more of this game, more of the film, do me a quick little favor, hit that like button just so we can get this video out to more Mavericks fans around the world, but also subscribe if you're new, it's free, doesn't cost anything, and we will be covering the Mavericks throughout the entirety of their playoff run, and lastly, if you guys want to watch some of these games with me, I will be streaming them on Twitch. Make sure you guys go check out the Twitch. It is MattyDubs with three S's, or you can just look in the description below. There'll be a link. But look at this play here by Luca. Now, one thing that Luca does insanely well, and you've been able to notice this throughout the entirety of the playoffs, is his ability to drive into the paint, one, but two, understand where your players are, where they're going to be, and where the help help defense is going to be as well. So right away, the court mapping of Luka Doncic is better than anyone I've ever seen in the NBA. Maybe, uh, you know, Nikola Jokic is up there as well, but Luka is insane, right? So Luka drives in. Now his ability to up fake, but also pass, right? So goes up with the basketball. Now all of these guys look at, instead of looking at the corner, looking back at their man, everyone is ball watching. Mason Plumlee, Paul, uh, Paul George, whoever back there, Terrence Mann, Norm Powell, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, all looking at him about to take the shot. Instead takes or kicks out to Maxi Kleba, which buys him an extra second or two to put up an open three. We all know how Maxi Kleba did in this game. Yeah, beautiful pass, beautiful shot. How do you, how do you guard this man, Luka? All right, here's another outstandingly beautiful play by Luka. Right now, wide open, top of the key. Could easily take a three here, but he knows his guy, Maxi Kleba, just hit a three a couple of possessions ago. I mean, Maxi Kleba in this game, five of seven from downtown. We want to get this guy the ball because he's just a hot hand. So Luka is going to isolate versus James. Could have easily taken that three, right? Or could even either pass this to Maxi Kleba now. But the one thing that's different between this pass and the pass he's going to make is one major key factor, right? So Luca is actually going to drive left, go baseline, right? Now, what do you think the reason for him doing this is, right? Think about it for a second. Why would he drive left, uh, bring more pressure on the Maxi Kleba in the corner, right? So boom, drives left. Now, before he passes the ball, he does one thing. He gets in front of Mason Plumley, right? Now Mason Plumley can't close out because he's got a body in front of him. Boom, Luca now posts. I mean, dude, this is next level basketball. You don't see guys doing this every day. Stays in front. Maxi Kleba, this is practice for him. He is sitting in the corner in the gym, uh, not knowing anyone's even on the floor with him because Luca does a great job. I don't know what James Harden is doing. There was no, you know, ability, no even effort to go over and try to close out on that shot. I mean, what a play. Yeah, you look at this and say, yeah, Luca probably could have taken a wide open three, but when you get your guys going, your team is even better, right? Do you guys understand that when Maxi Kleber and Kyrie and PJ Washington are hitting their shots, it makes your team even more difficult to defend at the end of the day. And this was an outstanding play, core mapping, IQ by Luca. Guys, real quickly, before we finish off this video, I need you guys to do me a big favor. Underdog Fantasy is doing the most legendary thing in the world. Not only if you use my code in the description, they will give you a free $100 depending on how much you first deposit, but also they're going to give you a free square as well. Now, what that means is, for example, let's just say Jimmy Butler, right? They're going to have Jimmy Butler over half a point, right? And every single couple of days, they're going to give you freebies that you could just easily win money on. Go claim your free $100 by depositing $100 or whatever you want. They'll match your first deposit. It, but also go get a free square go win money they have so much you can bet on and it's not just basketball if you like mlb mlb is here as well they have tennis they have nhl they have soccer they have uh women's soccer fifa esports racing golf they have everything you could think of and they have live drafts as well so if you want to get in an mlb draft and play that you can if you want to get in an nba draft and play with some people some of your friends you can do that as well if you use my code in the description not only will they match your first deposit but they're going to give you free money as well in terms of these little bets right these little bets that you can put in Tyrese Halliburton over half a point the easiest money you'll ever make in your life go check it out and let's get right back into the video another thing that makes Luka so unguardable at times is literally whatever you do it doesn't matter right high pick and roll again between him and Derek Lively you're gonna get you know Zubach hedging over the screen here 
Luca driving baseline. You got a, a tailing defender on, uh, you know, on your tail end here with uh, Terrence Mann, kind of putting him in jail here, just staying right in front of him, making sure he can't really do anything. Uh, but then he drives baseline, draws two extra defenders here, one in Paul George, and now uh, you know Zubac as well. Boom, gets into the lane. Two guys right in front of him, fade away, little floater jumper, gets it. I mean, there's no way if you're in the NBA that you guard this play. There's just no way. There's just no way. And then you get a, a switch onto uh, Mason Plumlee, drives in, again, stops on a dime, draws, uh, you know, Paul George in. Great job by Derek Lively in the dunker spot, getting right by Norman Powell. Easy lob, easy catch, easy money um, is basically what they're saying. I mean, it's just so easy for them. Again, high pick and roll, get the double team off the switch. Now you got a guy in Derek Lively who's in that weird pick and roll uh, where he is going to catch the ball and now read and react to what the defense wants to do. But Derek Lively instead sees that there's a little man in Norm Powell. He attacks, draws the contact, throws up the floater. No good. Or actually does actually go in. I thought it was a putback, but no, it does get it to go as well. I mean, you just watch this offense. They're so fluid. They do a lot of the same things, high pick and roll, um, either read and rack to uh, the screener's defender, or are they going to double team? There's always going to be someone open. Now it looks like Luka sidesteps a three from way downtown. Uh, great defense with two on the shot clock. I mean, this is demoralizing to a defense that plays. I mean, you look at that play here. This is good defense. This is actually insane defense by Norman Powell. And he gets, you know how demoralizing that is? Do you understand how demoralizing it is to play great defense, get it, or the uh, offensive player shoots a fadeaway three from 28 feet and somehow gets it to go still? I just, I really don't understand. On this one, PJ Tucker, Norm Powell, go to contest, little layup off the window, gets it to go. I mean, dude. It must be really fun playing Luka. It must be really fun playing this dude. High pick and roll. They're going to hedge over. Luka has nothing to do here. But you know what Luka does is he always makes the right read. Finds Kyrie. Kyrie from basically the Crypto Arena uh, freaking logo. <laughs> Gets it to go. I mean, again. I mean, if I was the Clippers, if I was a fan of the Clippers, um, you know, I would just say, oh, there goes that series. We're screwed. Whenever you play Luka, I mean, I am terrified to play Luka because their offense is so fluid. They run the same things, and the NBA still doesn't know how to stop it. It's so it's so funny to watch, man. I mean, look at this one. Luka versus Zubac. Step back three, right? Hand in his face here by Zubac, but it does not matter. Luka, insane. The Mavericks, insane. One of the most overlooked teams in the NBA. They're going to go a far away if they continue to play, play uh, like this. But also, their defense is probably the most important thing. Guys, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Join the family. We'll be live uh, streaming a bunch of these games on my Twitch. But also posting a bunch of film review as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.